Another day at the office. <laughs> Bursting airborne and sideways. Wheels stretching for the ground. The roar. Stunningly rapid, and now very aloft Chevrolet Camaro once what he should be a barbaric, deadly thing. Yet, in the crucial milliseconds following its oblique touchdown, it defines itself differently. Aaron Link, the one swatty S lead development engineer, adds a breath of canter steer, stays in the gas, and carries the slide, fully committed, to the track's edge. Crimson leaves explode behind its rear diffuser, then waft to the ground in what remains of the one swatty S throat punch exhaust note. The most powerful Camaro ever made fires a round of upshifts into the autumn air and hurls itself. At the next corner, unfazed. It's a hell of a way to start the day. That's the ELSD. Says Link. Referring to the one swatty S electronically controlled limited slip differential. Which it shares with the SS1 LE trim for 2017. It's scenarios like that that really sold us on the ELSD, despite its weight penalty. Quote, the one swatty S active diff weighs 44 pounds more than the clutch type limited slip differential in the Camaro SS, but it's lighter than the massive 9. 9 inch diff in the fifth generation one swatty. And neither of those offered as much authority over these sorts of automotive gymnastics. GM calls this ability, your damping, and offers no shortage of data to prove it works, all of which are less convincing than 1 minute and 53 seconds on its Milford road course. That's about the time the one swatty is capable of posting around the famed development track. Chevy won't reveal the exact time but says it's about 3 seconds quicker than the last one swatty. Which ran a 1. 56. The one swatty. Available as a coupe and a convertible. Shares with the Corvette Z06 its Herculean power plant, the supercharged 6. 2-liter LT4 V8. Internally. Both mills are identical, right down to the titanium intake valves and forged rods and pistons. In this latest king of cameras. However, a conventional oil pan replaces the Z06's dry sump lubrication. Surprisingly, a lack of packaging space demanded the change. But what matters is this. 650 horsepower at 6,400 revolutions per minute and 650 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 revolutions per minute. It's all managed, orally, by a dual-mode exhaust, which is now electronically controlled rather than vacuum-actuated as it was on the last one swatty. Chevy offers two transmissions here, including a high-torque version of the 6-speed Tremec TR6060 that's available in the Camaro SS. A tailored gear set allows the manual transmission equipped one swatty to hit 60 miles per hour in first gear, while both fifth and sixth are overdrive gears. At zero, 54, one sixth gear is a true fuel economy cog, though the 373 final drive is still low enough to serve up shovel to the spleen hole shots. But the 10 speed automatic, co developed with Ford, is the one that's so hotly anticipated and the one we experienced from the passenger's seat. Even from the chair. It's clear that it will be the go-to gearbox if minimizing lap times is a priority. Chevy engineers compared the 10 speeds shift times with those of the dual clutch units in the 991. Porsche 911 Carrera S and the McLaren MP412C. Which admittedly are not the newest iterations of those cars. The differences, though small, fall convincingly in favor of the Chevy. Here the 10-speed uses a one swatty specific torque converter. Clutch components, bearings, software and controllers. It's zero. 64. One-tenth gear is numerically lower than what the transmission will offer in other applications. 10-speed equipped one swatty coupes will have a 2. 85. One final drive ratio. Convertibles will be 2. 77. 1 and won't get the ELSD. Most striking is the gearbox's ability to keep the LT4 engine almost indefinitely in the most potent portion of its rev range. When it's working hard, the 10 speed is all nervous energy, ripping through tightly spaced gears with unrelenting pace. The resultant thrust and sound are gleefully rewarding. 
enough so that Link says the automatic is the component of the car that makes him most proud. It just never falls off, he says. Even at the higher speeds we see on the ring, the Nürburgring Nordschleff, where a GM partially developed the one swatty. There's always a building sensation to this car's acceleration. The float high hollow Chevy grille badge. Borrowed from the old Z28, graces a front end that is constructed almost entirely of air intakes. Four drive modes influencing all the car's manners remain. Snow, ice, tour, sport and track. It's likely, though, that the 10-speed has crossed the don't bother threshold when it comes to do-it-yourself paddle. Shifting. Even Link admits that it's hard to know whether to go down three gears or four in certain scenarios. But, let's face it, the days of shifting automatics yourself stopped being rewarding back when they reached seven gears. Using drive as Link did on our ride along frees up brain power for steering and braking. If you want to shift yourself get the six speed. Back at Milford, a few corners later, Link shortens a bend and squares up the curb's leading edge with the one swatty S right front tire. It's a move that should deliver a full wind-up nut shot to the spring and damper, further ventilating the already thoroughly ventilated hood. But the one swatty shrugs off the blow and sticks unflinchingly through the remaining S's, launching us to 160 miles per hour on the front straight, which isn't really straight at all. Magnetriological dampers, standard on the one swatty, play no small role in the car's preternatural control and are perhaps the greatest ally to the car's performance traction management system, which applies the exact torque the rear wheels are able to put down in virtually any scenario. How effective is the one swatty SPTM system? So much so that Drew Cattell, the ride and handling engineer who drove the one swatty for its Nürburgring hot lap, relied on its reassurance through the Green Hell's 12. Nine miles. Link, during our laps, drove fully unrestricted. Chevy hadn't released the one swatty s official ring lap time as of our deadline. But it did say that the new car is more than 11 seconds quicker than the previous one swatty s 7. 41. 27, which makes it to 7. 30 or better. We've seen data logs confirming that it's 10 miles per hour faster than the old one swatty, call it about 182 miles per hour. Going into a tear garden, the fastest section of the track. A mid to low 7. 20 seems possible. The one swatty has a line lock feature for those who enjoy turning the rear tires into smoke. But the car was, instead, designed to destroy its tires on a road course. Broad shouldered, wide hipped, and gape moored, the one swatty is a caricature of the now devastatingly ordinary SS. Its front fenders are zero. 6 inch wider on each side than the SS's. Partially to cover huge rubber and partially to allow more cooling air to the array of heat. Exchanges housed in the one swatty S nose. Under red hood. It's a functional two-piece aluminum and carbon thing that extracts air from the engine. Compartment. Wind tunnel time largely determined the shape of the one swatty S nose. Which divides its work between managing lift and drag and cooling the powertrain and brakes. Despite its Sofia Vergara-esque bulges, this one swatty presents about 2% less frontal area than the previous model, which coupled with an additional 70 horsepower should yield a measurably improved top speed. GM isn't releasing that number yet, but the fifth generation one swatty managed 184 miles per hour flat out. We expect this one swatty to just miss the 200 mph club. Forge 10 inch wide front and 11 inch wide rear wheels where 285 thirtieths R20 and 305 thirtieths R20 rubber, respectively. Goodyear, once again, is the one swatty S tire supplier. And it worked with engineers through many variants of its Eagle F1 supercar tire before arriving at the final compound and construction, which is called G3. Carbon ceramic brake rotors, like those offered on the 2015 Z28, aren't available. This is both a cost control measure and a practical one. Is the iron brakes meet GM's performance targets? The one swatty S2 piece 15. Four inch iron front rotors are clamped by fixed six piston Brembo calipers. Even with hefty brakes, 
The Alpha platform nets the one SWATI a £220 weight savings over the last model. At about £3,950 when equipped with the 10-speed automatic. Though it's certainly no featherweight. Still, it's quicker. Chevy says 10-speed equipped coupes should hit 60 in 3. 5 seconds and hammer through the quad mile in 11. 4 seconds at 127 miles per hour. Customizable launch control that allows adjustable engine speed and wheels look between 5 and 15 percent is standard and can be had with either transmission. And, keeping pace with Ford, the one SWAT in now offers line lock. A feature that clamps the front brakes but leaves the rear free for epic burnouts. It's buried in the instrument cluster menus that even Captain Liability himself couldn't accidentally activate it. Chevy is prepared to sell you a one SWATI coupe for $62,135 when it goes on sale this month. The convertible will follow in the spring for seven grand more. Both will be subject to gas guzzler taxes. And the gratuitously burned hydrocarbons will be worth every extra penny. It shouldn't surprise us that this car can at once be so unapologetically raw and yet so seemingly controllable. So loud and yet so articulate. Finding those traits melded in a single piece of hardware like the one Swatty is one of the great joys of being a car enthusiast today. And it's quite likely that the one Swatty is the most rewarding means ever created to move leaves off a racetrack.